En principio la energía me la dan mis hijos, pues yo recibí un país en democracia y quisiera que mis hijos pudiesen eh, vivir en, esa, en ese escenario. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I say, why I'm still doing this? Then when I wash my hands, I wash my face and look at the mirror, I say, okay, that's something that I want to do it because I feel very satisfied of doing it. Foro Penal is a central part of Venezuelan civil society, which continues to be the greatest hope for a democratic Venezuela. For courageously putting their own safety at risk in defense of the freedom of others and access to justice for all, Foro Penal is awarded the Civil Rights Defender of the Year Award 2023. They operate in one of the world's most repressive countries, a country where disappearances, torture, and murder of dissidents occur frequently. For many of those who have fallen victim to political repression in Venezuela, Foro Penal is a lifeline. Venezuela is right now characterized as a human rights uh, abuser of the world. Uh, torture has become systematic against those that protest or those that are dissidents. Um, and, uh, and again, uh, repression is an effective tool for the government to keep in power. So the human rights situation is still, oh, I would say, worse in Venezuela than ever. Foro Penal was formed in the wake of a high-profile murder of a young opposition activist in the early 2000s. It gained real national importance during the protests in 2014 and is today one of Latin America's leading human rights organizations. 400 lawyers and 6,000 volunteers across Venezuela work pro bono to defend people's freedom and human rights against Nicolas Maduro's brutal and oppressive regime. Es un reto en es un ambiente eh, muy tóxico en el sentido de que eh, hay mucho acecho, no hay seguridad. Eh, Estamos, eh, como defensores, estamos expuestos a todo, desde un ataque físico hasta una detención y, y evidentemente eh, la criminalización de nuestra labor. When you're in Venezuela, you never think how dangerous it is. You have to learn how not to think about it. If you feel the fear, if you feel it, if you start thinking of how dangerous it is, of course, you would never be there. Constantly pursued and monitored by the feared security service, Foro Penal documents the abuses committed, provides legal aid to the victims, and publishes lists on Twitter of all political prisoners in Venezuela. Their work has contributed to the International Criminal Court, ICC, opening an investigation of the regime for crimes against humanity. Donde prácticamente se puede decir que estamos a la espera de que ese momento único se dé para poder elevar todo ese trabajo que se ha hecho eh, de documentación y de registro. Eh, pues estamos acostumbrados a ciertas cosas, pero también nos sorprende eh, la capacidad de otras personas de hacer daño y eso no nos deja tranquilos. 
Since the start 20 years ago, Foro Penal has helped more than 12,000 victims of political repression in Venezuela. Hola! Hola. <laughs> Their testimonies are shocking. Just being acquainted with the wrong person can lead to arrest, detention, being classified as a terrorist, and tortured. Something Ariana and her family experienced firsthand. Los tres primeros días nos tuvieron separados, y en esos tres primeros días ocurrieron los episodios de, de interrogatorio, donde incluyeron to tortura. Eh, antes de que a mí eh, eh, me asfixiaran y pasara el, el peor episodio de tortura que pude haber vivido, eh, pude escuchar cómo interrogaban a mi papá y cómo interrogaban a mi mamá. Escuché cómo golpeaban a mi papá, escuché cómo mi papá suplicaba, porque además lo amenazaban con, con violarnos o con matarnos a mi mamá y a mí. With the help of Foro Penal, Ariana regained her freedom and has since fled the country together with her family. But the torture and abuse they suffered will always remain a painful memory. La carga psicológica que te deja te cambia para siempre. Yo en, en esas ocasiones conocí una maldad en, en las personas que nunca en mi vida, que, que no tenía idea que existía. No sabía que podía existir tanta, tanta maldad. ¿Entiendes? Había una inocencia en, 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 en mí que, que acabó con esos episodios, perdón. But despite the often dark state of affairs in Venezuela, from which seven million people have fled due to oppression and poverty, the hope for change is still strong. Right now, uh, there is darkness, of course, but I see, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. I see a lot of people working inside and outside Venezuela, and I'm sure the international pressure and the pressure is, that is putting Venezuelans all around the world uh, will make uh, a future of justice and peace.